all day. All day? I'm glad to. It's been a long I'm, week. I'm ready for it to be over. You got it in. I do got it in. That's good. And showing everybody too. Uh, you know, we sold the, we gave away the one, then we sold the others, and now everybody's seeing the clear top, so they want to add it too. Yep. So probably have a couple more on the truck this next week. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add one to mine. Uh, Y'all might make a living just selling pack out accessories. Hey, however you gotta make one. I but I want to do all my electrical accessories in this. Yeah. Um, that's what that one's for. Yeah. I, that way I'm not buying wire nuts every time I do a job and then having to mm -hmm. look for them and then giving up and going to buy more. So yep. it seems like every time I do something, I have to go buy black tape and electrical <laughs> that's connectors. That's exactly what that's going to be used yeah. for, wire nuts and tape and, uh, you know, spare outlets and yep, that's all it. of that kind of and thing. And the thing about it is there's plenty of room in here, and that's something else. Most of the time in your house, you have pretty much all the same color outlets. Yep. So you could go ahead and preload that mm -hmm. and have some ready, light switches, whatever. They don't normally just go bad, but if for some reason one does, you'll have one ready to go. Or if you get ready to add on or do something like that, you've got some of it ready to go. So yep. it's got pretty good dividers in here. So plus you can take them out. Well, that's what that box is for right there. It's a lot easier to go up into an attic or into a crawl space or whatever it may be either pulling or pushing this thing with your wire strippers, wire cutters, mm -hmm. everything in here, instead of having something stuck in this pocket, <laughs> something stuck in that one. Oh yeah, because if it's in a tight spot, you'll be laying on your left side and that's where the wire nuts is at. Yep. Or like if you're like me, you like to wear hoodies, yep. all the shit falls out. <laughs> I have been there and done that a couple of times. Uh, I do not like going in attics. Uh, without a long sleeve shirt on of some sort because I don't like insulation. Mm -hmm. uh, you do enough of it, it don't bother you no more, but uh, yeah. I don't do enough of it. So I don't make a career out of that. So yeah. it sucks, but. Definitely add one to my mine and have my stuff in there. Hopefully won't have to go looking for nothing. There you go. We just did some wiring the other day. And, uh, we had some black tape, but it wasn't the best in the world. And then we found some more that was. So if it was right there, we'd, we'd have it all ready to go. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice to have it all together. Yep. It's like a, a toolbox. It's nice to have a toolbox organized or, you know, where everything's at. Yeah. Just Makes grab the job one go faster. grower and get what you need. That's it. Make the toolbox work for you, right? Well, so. I see y'all doing free Girl Scout cookies. That's we are. an awesome promo. Yep, we've got a local troop here that we always buy from. Um, every year we run out way too early, so every year we buy a couple mm -hmm. more. But So that's a pretty good promo right there. Yeah, and it, they're not real hard to enter. I mean, we didn't ask that you spend a bunch of money or nothing like that. So yep. we'll have a lot of guys that participate in that. So, Well, are y'all ready for Expo? As ready as I'm ever going to be. I'm gonna buy them out. I'm gonna treat it as a vacation too, so. There you go. I've ordered some stuff already through the pre-order, which that's the first year that we could do that. Um, it ain't come in yet, but if it don't hurry up, it's just gonna be regular expo. But there you go. <laughs> it'll be all right. We'll, uh, we're gonna stock the truck and have a good time. We're going into the busy season. Um, right here at tax time, people mm -hmm. like to reward themselves as they should. So we just need to get it all and get ready for that. Yep. So what's one of the deals you're most excited about? Is it the new tools or is it? The new tools have uh, a lot of my interest there um, because that's going to give the techs that normally say, well, I've already got everything or something like that. Gives them something to look at and, and, and buy. Uh, but I also like to use it as uh, they have some bundles and stuff like that. I like to buy that way I can get stocked shelves and just have stuff that I don't normally have. Mm -hmm. But the first place I'll go is to the new tools and, and get all that I can get of that. So That's good. Can't beat that. Which I know uh, Leslie touched on the teal color. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. I didn't order any of it on pre-order just because I don't know what it's going to look like. I mean, sometimes the picture Mm -hmm. Don't do it just, and sometimes the picture makes it look a little better than what it actually does. So, uh, 
Uh, yeah. I plan on ordering that down there. Which the only drawback is that it's limited edition, and I don't know about that, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know how much I'll order because of that. Yeah, that would suck to, you know, if you broke a screwdriver or whatever. That's my drawback, and, and that's what I told know, her. I said you got a full set except for one green. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you buy a ratchet, and ratchets normally get repaired, right? Normally everything here is good, but in the in that odd case that something does happen and the ear breaks off or something, <coughs> you spent money to get teal, now you got red, mm -hmm. or whatever color it's the replacement is. But screwdriver, same way. I don't know. I think that's going to be more of a I'm buying it to put it up. Some people are going to buy it to use it. They're probably going to be a little aggravated when something does break. So. Yeah. I don't know how much I'll order of it. But I mean, I, I guess you have to look, every company does that, right? Like yeah. Snap-on has the limited edition. Every company whatever does. Whatever freaking color they come out with this week. And they do and it, it sells. Yeah. So and in two months, it's gone, you know. Yeah. And it'll be the same way uh, with the teal. You'll have people uh, buy it just because it's their favorite color mm -hmm. and put it up. And that's fine. I know... Uh, I've seen in uh, several instances people post their golden ratchets, whether it be from Maco, Snap-on, uh, whatever company may have done it. Uh, yeah. I've seen wrenches, like, you know, mm -hmm. the certain limited edition anniversary wrenches right. or whatever. So there's a place for it. Well, I'm ready for Matco to come out with, uh, like, the gunmetal gray and black. I think that would be a cool combo. Yeah. You know, when Snap-on did it, that looked really good. Yeah. I bought everything i could get with those colors on it not to use but just to have because it right. was cool you know they did it like a gunmetal gray and black and it had the i think snap-on was in red on one yeah. set and i think another time they did it it was maybe even black i can't remember but it's kind of cool that'd be a good idea for them and too i think it worked good because guys that don't like their stuff to look dirty yeah you know it's not going to show up well, it's still dirty but yeah like there's some people like that, like me, I like to be able to see it or clean it off. But there's some people if it don't look dirty, they don't care. Like, oh no, you can't tell that. And then you grab it and their hands go over your face. I have seen it in the automotive world in several aspects, whether it be the color car they buy mm -hmm. or the tools that they buy. Uh, they buy certain colors because it hides dirt. Yeah. Um, it don't hide it too well when you touch it though. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem is if I put it down and my hands black, I know it was dirty at that point. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, and that drives me nuts. Yeah, I'd uh, rather see it and go ahead and get it off and be done with it. So I have a thing of uh, the tub of towels now up here because people bring me their tools and I touch it and then I put it down and I look. It's like ah, oh. you know, I don't care to get my hands dirty, <laughs> but it's like man, you're. You can't even do a simple task. Like, I hope nothing on the interior messes up because oh, yeah. don't Can lay this tool down. Like, you know, my wife's car's got that white suede headliner yeah. and all that door panels all out of there. And <laughs> I guess I got that from when I was doing a whole bunch of headliners because Toyota had a bunch of, uh, they had a run of like sunroof pops and some of the Camrys and Avalons from the dipping process. And then they had, the Avalons had a, issue to where the headliner would swag in the back and when they fixed it now it started swaying up by the sunroof so we replaced a bunch of headliners and fixed a lot of pops and your tools had to be just yeah perfect or guess what you were pissing to mess up a brand new headliner so <laughs> and people's gonna say well wear gloves yeah well that works but yeah. now you've touched your tool with your glove on now you've touched the headliner well guess what mm -hmm. now it's on the headliner just clean your tools that's it that's it <laughs> that's it clean the tools oh yeah it's good y'all are got some good plans for expo that'll be fun to see what all y'all come back with i'm curious to see i like talking to the other distributors and seeing what they're going to do and stuff too so i'm curious to see what everybody's going to do the the pre-orders kind of threw everybody for a loop uh, it's a good thing it's a great thing um but it's like okay how much do i order now how much do i order at expo and it's it's been fun seeing what everybody's going to do so well, can't can't sell it if you ain't got it. I that's guess. it. But you also don't want to get it if you can't sell it. So. That's the that's, <laughs> that's the key the thing. How many birthdays right? will it celebrate on the truck, right? I see. Yeah. Hopefully, it all so, sells in ninety days, and you ain't got to worry about it. That's right. Hopefully, yeah. it sells before it even thinks about a birthday. But go. Uh, 
that's one of those things that you never know, can tell. That's it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us this Friday, Super Bowl Friday. Who are you pulling for? Oh, uh, can eat? Can both of them lose? <laughs> well, that's kind of the way I am. But like, the only reason I want San Francisco to win is because of Brock Purdy and Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, I would rather see uh, them win, but but I want to see them lose also because uh, some of their fans that I know yeah. that I'm related to that pull for them, I'm like, I don't want to give them the pleasure of that. But also, I'm, I'm so over the Chiefs. I don't know. Their glorification that's been going on for well, five years. So It's going to be hard to beat the Chiefs because the only ones that could do it was Tom Brady. and Well, well there goes that. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Like, I, it'll be a good game. I think it's going to be a fun game to watch, but I could care less. I'm going to be honest games. with you. I was, that's me. I'm going to watch that game. Yeah. And like it as well as anything else but i don't care who wins which is kind of the best because you can't get upset that's it. i was hoping to see detroit or somebody win it this year uh i'm a steelers fan so we didn't make it and haven't made it in a while so it, well, is, I was, what it is i was pulling for the ravens and i'll tell you why like i was like why you like the ravens well first of all a good friend of mine that i play golf with his son works for the ravens oh that's cool so when they made the playoffs, he got a five thousand dollar bonus, which is awesome. Yeah. But if they would have went to the Super Bowl, they didn't even have to win. Just go to the Super Bowl. His bonus was thirty thousand dollars. That's why I was pulling for the Ravens. I, you know, I was really surprised that they didn't, they didn't go. Like no. when they got beat, I was really. I was surprised. shocked. Like I was a hundred percent counting on them going. So. Yeah. I, I thought they were the team to go, but they wasn't. So, but I was pulling for him because I wanted him to win that thirty grand. He's getting married uh, in June, and that was going to be money that they was going to use to. Which the last time that they made the playoffs, he took that money and put on his house and kind of you know yeah. got him way ahead in life. And this was going to be like honeymoon money and put on a. See, that's why I kind of yeah. wish that they wouldn't just just don't tell me what we're going to get. Surprise me when we do it yeah. because uh, you should want to get there for, without mm -hmm. needing the money, but that needs to be, you know. Well, there's no telling what the players get. Oh, if, yeah. You know, no he's telling. just on the staff and, and makes that kind of money. Well, so. I don't know. I didn't, cool. I didn't think the Chiefs were ever going to make it anyway because they started, you got to give it to them. They started the year out kind of rocking. Yeah, they was really. And they turned it around. You're going to have the people that say that the refs helped them. You can make that argument, but they still made it. So yep. both teams are good teams, so we'll see what happens. And I did want the Ravens to win it where I could really wear a real Super Bowl ring, too, because who would have got a ring, and I know I could have put it on at least. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been cool. All right, guys. Hopefully y'all enjoy your weekend. Don't drink too much beer Sunday if you got to go to work Monday, but that is the most missed day of work all year, so. You won't be alone. Just keep that in mind. That's it. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. And check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, take your finger click that button. Y'all have a great week. Weekend. See ya.